Hey, our vacationers, do y'all like to eat as much as we do? If you do, then hang on for the ride. We found a place that's close to a lot of North Alabama campgrounds that I think you're going to find a must visit while you're here in North Alabama. Come along with us for the ride. I'm Wayne. And I'm Norma from Our Vacationer. Follow us as we travel in our motorhome in Jeep Cherokee. Subscribe and click the notification bell. Hello to all our faithful Our Vacationer friends. It's been a while since we put out a video and I apologize for that but with uh, grandchildren being around and schools being open and closed, COVID has given us a run for our money this year so we haven't been able to travel much so I didn't want to do a video just to be doing a video but in North Alabama, we received a recommendation from somebody about a wonderful restaurant that's a little bit out of the way. It, it's You drive through a little family neighborhood and all of a sudden there's this huge exotic animal farm. And I'll tell you about that in just a minute. But the place is called Bama Bucks Steakhouse and Wild Game Restaurant. You can find them on Facebook and on the internet. Do a Google search for Bama Bucks Steakhouse or on uh, Facebook for Bama Bucks. You can find their menu. Uh, they do have regular steak, chicken salad type options. They have alligator tail, uh, elk, bison. So you can find their menu on Facebook. Like I said, their hours are only Thursday through Sunday. Uh, Thursday is 4 to 9, Friday is 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., Saturday is 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., Sunday is 11 to 5. We went on a Sunday afternoon. We highly recommend that if you're going to go on a Sunday afternoon, try to get there around 10.30 or 10.45 before they open to get your name on the list quick. Otherwise, you're going to have a pretty good wait. But if you have to wait, it's pretty impressive to walk through just a family-owned farm and see, uh, you know, for three bucks, you go through their general store and you get to go out and see animals like black bear, uh, ostrich. They've got a ringtail lemur, kangaroo. Uh, we even were able to pet brand spanking new baby kangaroo. Uh, cute, cuddly, fuzzy little animal. I saw one jumping out there. Was that mama? Um, actually, that's my mama's mom across the street, oh. but now they're. There is there, some back there, yeah. There are some back here. Daddy's back here. Mom's across the street. Aww. You're a Texas. You want to come through? I'll take it to the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ride a camel. They have fallow deer, Rocky Mountain elk, bison, miniature Mediterranean donkey. Uh, Eastern Turkey uh, and a lot more anyway I'm saying if you got to wait it's worth three bucks just to spend time walking through the animals farm uh, most of the animals are also if you get there and get seated right away ask for a window seat because most of the animals are visible from the dining area if you get a window seat uh, it is a rustic hunting lodge atmosphere, so there's a huge tall ceiling, uh, rustic antler light fixtures hanging everywhere. They do have big screen TVs playing here and there, but they're all playing older black and white western movies or Andy Griffith or uh, shows like that, just historic shows to go along with the theme of the uh, lodge there. Their general store, if you're done eating and just you know, want to go through and buy some souvenirs or some wonderful uh, looking preserves and relishes. They have candy, popcorn, they have homemade soft drinks. I say homemade, locally made root beer and uh, cream soda and that kind of thing. They also have an antique store, uh, a lot of antiques, but some are handmade yard, yard ornaments, bar stools, old tools. Um, 
old farm relics. They have an old truck parked in the barn out there that's kind of neat. Uh, they have a Jack Daniels barrel room, so if you need Jack Daniels barrels for making planters or garden, raised garden type things, they have Jack Daniels barrels. They also have some bar stools made out of Jack Daniels barrel. Uh, they have an antler collection and display room. Uh, one of the key points that I wanted to make in this video is not only is this a good place to go and visit and I don't own it I don't know the people that own it. It was just a good place and it's very close to a lot of campgrounds So this is for all our campground friends and followers. It's close to Nakalula Falls in Gaston the Cove RV Resort in Gaston River Country Campground in Gadsden, Lake Gunnersville State Park in Gunnersville, Georgia Mountain State Park, I'm sorry, Georgia Mountain RV Resort in Gunnersville. There's a Blue Heron Paradise in Gunnersville. Little Mountain Marina, which is just the other side of Gunnersville in Langston, Alabama, and Mountain Lake Resorts in Langston, Alabama. All of these places are roughly 20 miles away from the restaurant, and it's definitely worth the drive out there to see the place, see the animals uh, go before dark, obviously, so you can actually see them. Uh, or if you're not interested in seeing the animals, the food is definitely worth it. Their desserts, which I'm kind of partial to, they had a... Uh, creme brulee cheesecake they had a uh, berry which is a variety of berries tart or tort i don't remember what they called it but it looked good the friends that went with us had that they have a triple chocolate cake um, i had the bread pudding and that was delicious i would say above average experience than just going to a nice steak potato place because the atmosphere the service was good the food was good uh, they, their website says they have a uh, special chef there working on site so the food is prepared a little bit above average uh, the only cons or i won't even call them cons i'll just say these are notes to look out for if you're going on a sunday the after church crowd is going to force a wait even though this place is remote out of the way you're definitely not going to just happen to drive by it you got to be going out there to get to this place uh, if you do end up getting there and you have a wait then it's well worth the three bucks to go out and look at the animals they've got you know walkways throughout so you can see the animals uh, i will also say as a note if you're going to be driving a large dually truck, it's going to be a really tight fit the way their parking lot is designed. It's it's just really hard to maneuver. When you go through the fence, you kind of got to turn to the right to, to avoid hitting the cars that are parked right there in the fence. So you've turned to the right, now you got to turn to the left to get in the parking space. So anyway, there are some spots out beyond the parking lot you can park up against the fence so i'm not saying you can't park there and i'm not saying don't go if you if the only thing you've got is a dually truck because you can find a spot it's just going to be more difficult than if you're driving a small to mid-sized car so anyway i hope you like our recommendation uh, if you do give us a thumbs up if you don't like it hit the thumbs down twice ha 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 uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified of any videos that we put out. We try not to put out videos just so we can have a video every week. We put out a video if we have something worth sharing. And we enjoy uh, other YouTube channels that do the exact same thing. I like to see new places, fresh places, places I haven't been. And uh, maybe this will encourage you guys to go get some good food at this place. And if not, just go look at the animals. It's worth the visit just to walk through and see all the animals. Very much like a local mom and pop zoo, if you will, but done very professionally. They, the fences are real tall and very thick wire. Uh, we did witness one of the bison got agitated at a duck. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like the bison could have walked through the fence if he really wanted to, but those fences are, are pretty sturdy, so no issues there but I think you'll enjoy this go give it a chance and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it two thumbs downs if you don't and see you next time thanks hi friends thank you for joining us on this video if you would if you have not already we need a real big favor not like a kidney or a lung or anything just 
a real big favor. Hit that subscribe button right down there, that red one, right in there. And when you hit that, you'll see a little bell. Click on the bell so you get notified of all our future videos. And give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Have a great day. See you in the next video.